Hey guys, today we do our first case review for the Apple Pencil. This is the MoxieWare Apple Pencil Magnet, which basically adds a magnet onto your Apple Pencil so that you can mount it onto your iPad without any special doohickey things other than the magnet. Let's check it out. Anyone who bought the iPad Pro should have gotten one of these too, the Apple Pencil. Because if you didn't, well, you're doing it wrong. It just automatically makes you great at drawing. But it's covered in a glossy fingerprint magnet grease attracting white plastic. And unfortunately, you're not able to store it anywhere on the iPad. So this happens a lot. That's why I picked this up. A tube made of soft matte flexible plastic. But what makes it special is a strip of magnet that's glued inside. To install, poke the pencil into the tube like they taught you in school. Then just spin it in. A trick I found was to take the cap off and use a flat tip to spin it if you have sweaty hands. Since it is soft plastic, you can actually move the magnet segment by cutting down the excess plastic if you'd like. The soft matte texture feels a lot grippier in the hand and the bump gives you something to rest your fingers onto. And yeah, it also prevents your pencil from rolling away. The magnet doesn't affect your pencil's ability to make you an artist, but it does allow you to do this. On the front of the screen, the magnets stay firmly connected. You can also move it to the back, but from my experience, it's not showing the same love. The nice part is that if you do decide to stick it on the front, it's thin enough that it doesn't cover the screen at all. Another nice feature I found out to have was that when charging the pencil, instead of leaving the cap somewhere you'll definitely forget about, you can attach it onto the case since the cap is also magnetic and it's strong enough so that it won't fall off easily. But most of you probably have a case on your iPad. While I can already tell you it won't stick to thick cases, it has a slight hold onto the Apple silicone case, but I wouldn't count on it. Thankfully, it still sits on the front, which is where I usually store my pencil during usage anyways. If you also have the Apple Smart Keyboard, it actually has some pretty strong magnets built into the cover as well. Whenever I'm walking around with my iPad, I can confidently say this is how I store my pencil. The thought of a case for the pencil may seem stupid. You can buy iPad cases that have built-in loops, but for me, it's this convenience of grabbing it when I need it. And forgetting about it when I don't. Now this isn't a storage solution for your Apple Pencil, it's a workflow solution. It retails for about $20, it comes in a matte, white, black, blue, green, yellow, and a red you see here. For me, I didn't buy the Apple Pencil because it looks pretty. In fact, I actually hate that it's really glossy. So for something to completely cover it up and add some much needed functionality, I'm okay with that. The best part is it doesn't limit you to a specific case because it works directly onto the iPad. And that's it. If you like my view, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give a thumbs down, and do subscribe for future updates. I rest my Apple Pencil case?